Indian engineer who made breathing device to prevent deaths of newborn babies wins innovation award in UK. Here's a summary of the article. An Indian engineer whose low-cost neonatal breathing device has saved the lives of newborn babies across small towns of India, has won the 2019 Commonwealth Secretary General's Innovation for Sustainable Development Award in London. Nitesh Kumar Jangir, who created SANS as a breathing support device to tackle avoidable deaths of premature babies from respiratory distress syndrome due to a lack of immediate access to complex medical equipment, received his award in the People category alongside 14 other innovators from across the 53 member countries of the Commonwealth. Our mission is to try and ensure that babies don't lose their lives due to the lack of access to a piece of technology, said Jangir, who was presented the award at a ceremony in London last week by Prince Harry the Youth Ambassador of the Commonwealth, and Commonwealth Secretary General Baroness Patricia Scotland. This award will go a long way in upscaling this device across the Commonwealth countries, for use in similar conditions in regions like Africa, he said. The Bangalore-based electronics engineer is the co-founder of COEO Labs, a medical device company with a vision to prevent preventable deaths in the field of emergency and critical care. The response from every part of the Commonwealth has been phenomenal, said Abhik Sen, head of innovation and partnerships at the Commonwealth Secretariat. The innovation awards are divided along five thematic categories, improving the lives of people, boosting prosperity, protecting the planet, promoting peace, and building partnerships for development in the Commonwealth. This post received a score of 23,353, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. His invention can be powered multiple ways or operated by hand, and it's three times cheaper to make than other similar machines. It's being distributed in some areas and has already saved lives. If that's true he deserves more than one measly award. Well considering what he has invented, there are probably already a lot of offers coming his way. Principally with a headline in the various news source that are going to pick this up. Hell maybe even a businessman or interested doctor in a hospital is seeing this right now from Reddit like us. I don't think it would interest many big pharma companies because most developed countries have machines like this on electricity in hospitals. It's good for the dirt poor in South Asia, Africa, and war zones, who don't have access to electricity though. I can't really see how companies would make much money selling this to people in absolute poverty and I think governments would put a stop to it. Likely true. Big Pharma might not be interested however I think the WHO and other NGOs as well as third world countries governments would be very interested in the device. In which case some Chinese factory or Florida copyright troll has already, minutely tweaked the design and is currently suing him for copying their patent. He would have the easiest and most obvious case of prior art it would be moronic to attempt to sue. So did the guy who invented Crocs, but he got slaughtered by trolls and got his throat slit by a short seller. Cool. But haven't CPAPs been around a long time? From a comment up above, this one is three times cheaper and can be operated handheld. I imagine operating by hand would be tiring as hell but as a parent who has been to the NICU for breathing issues with our recent daughter, I find this is amazing. Kudos to the engineer for saving the lives of these little minions. For medium duration use, you definitely want it powered from some external source, but for rural India where power availability is not certain and where it might be a case of a doctor or midwife coming to the patient, rather than the patient going to a permanent medical facility of any size being able to run it by hand either for the short term or, crucially, while transporting a patient in something that isn't a properly equipped ambulance, is going to be a big deal. Yeah, my mind first went to rural areas with limited access to reliable electricity. Those areas are going to greatly benefit. And especially since it's much cheaper, now clinics in rural areas of developing countries can afford to have one on hand. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.